Hey there Saints, Pastor Dave here again with a weekly devotional for you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about those things that we cannot talk about. And the reading uh, from C.S. Lewis is excerpted from The Problem of Pain. There have been times when I think we do not desire heaven, but more often I find myself wondering whether in our heart of hearts we have ever desired anything else. You may have noticed that the books you really love are bound together by a secret thread. You know very well what is the common quality that makes you love them, though you cannot put it into words. But most of your friends do not see it at all, and often wonder why, liking this, you should also like that. Again, you've stood before some landscape which seems to embody what you've been looking for all your life, and then turn to the friend at your side, and they appear to be seeing what you saw, but at the first word, a gulf yawns between you, and you realize that this landscape means something totally different to him and he cares nothing for the ineffable suggestion by which you are transported. Even in your hobbies has there not always been some secret attraction which others are curiously ignorant of, something not to be identified with but always on the verge of breaking through, the smell of cut wood in the workshop or the clap-clap of water against the boat's side. I'm sure we've all had that frustrating experience of trying to explain what it is that we love about that place, or that moment, or, or that person, or that hobby, or that book, or that movie, or, or whatever it is that really spoke to our souls. And the person that we experienced it with, or the person who knows exactly what we're talking about and yet doesn't get it. And there's nothing that we can really put into words. There's no way that we can explain why this thing matters so much to us and why it has moved us so much. I wonder if that might just be because it is a glimpse of heaven for us. It is a glimpse or in some way connects us with what it is our souls were made for. What it is that we long to be. And maybe it's different for every person and maybe that's why that other person can't identify with it the same way that we do. But, you know, um, in, in Montreat, uh, one of the famous Presbyterian retreat centers, they talk about that place being a thin place, a place where you can get closer to God than you tend to in in other places where it seems like God is just on the verge of breaking through into our regular ordinary lives and maybe those those thin spaces appear for each of us in different ways I wonder if the next time you experience one of those things that you can't quite explain or articulate why it's so meaningful to you if maybe you just take a minute and be quiet and not try, but listen. Listen to what God might be speaking to you through that experience, through that moment, through that place, through that love. Maybe it doesn't require our words at all. Think about that, saints. Hope this is... Uh, a good week for you, and I hope you are learning and growing and, and getting closer to God in many different ways. I'm praying for you. Hope you'll keep praying for me, and I hope you all take care. Stay safe. Talk to you later.